Agriculture is the main occupation of man. Human hunger is met by agricultural activity. The climate of Maharashtra is of monsoon type. It rains in a particular period and remaining period of the year which is dry limits agricultural activities. In Maharashtra, we have two different seasons of cultivation. Number one, Kharif season. The crops which are sown in the month of June and July and harvested in the month of October or November are known as Kharif crops. Rice, Bajra, Pulses, Jowar are cultivated in these seasons. Number two, Rabi season. The crops which are sown in the month of October or November are harvested in the month of February or March are known as Rabi crops. For example, Jowar, Wheat, Gram and Rabi crops. Chapter number 4 Agriculture Points to learn Types of agriculture Number 1. Intensive agriculture Number 2. Irrigated agriculture Number 3. Horticulture Major crops Jowar, wheat, rice, bajra, cotton, sugarcane, mango, grapes, banana, orange Learning outcomes after learning this lesson, you can understand the following things. Number 1. Importance of agriculture. Number 2. Main types of agriculture in Maharashtra. Number 3. Main crops and their distribution in Maharashtra. Number 4. Main fruits and their distribution in Maharashtra. Number 5. By observing maps, you will get information of distribution of the produce. Types of Agriculture There are different types of agriculture. They are classified on the basis of seasons, agricultural method and the objective of the farmers and type of produce. Intensive Agriculture Irrigated Agriculture and horticulture are the major types of agriculture. Intensive agriculture When farmer practices agriculture on his small land holding with intensive care of the crop and tries to take maximum production is known as an intensive agriculture. Due to high population, man to land ratio is very small. Generally, farmer practices food grain crops to meet the family requirement. It is an intense need to take care of the crop. The per capita production is low due to high pressure of population. Generally, food grains are cultivated but vegetables are also grown. Intensive agriculture is practiced in all districts of Maharashtra. Irrigated agriculture When water is less due to low rainfall and it is not sufficient for the crop, artificial water supply is used for agriculture. This is known as irrigated agriculture. Wells, canals, tanks, tube wells are the sources of irrigation. In Maharashtra, well irrigation is main source of irrigation. It is an independent source for individual farmer. They use this source for the crop when required. When water is available for irrigation, farmer can use fertilizers for a better and assured yield from the crops. In western Maharashtra, dams are constructed across the rivers and water is used to irrigate the land through canals. In central Maharashtra and Konkan, irrigation projects are limited and accordingly irrigated areas are also limited. Dams are constructed on Godavari, Krishna, 
Bhima, Panchaganga rivers in Maharashtra. Sugarcane, vegetables and various food crops are cultivated under irrigated agriculture. Tank irrigation. Water from the tank is used for irrigation. In Bhandara, Chandrapur, Garchiroli districts, tank water is used for rice cultivation. Lift irrigation. Water from the canals is used only at lower level of dams, but land above the water level is irrigated only by lifting of the water by pumps, which is known as lift irrigation. This method of irrigation is costlier than the canal irrigation. Horticulture The cultivation of fruits is known as horticulture. Climate of Maharashtra is suitable for mangoes, oranges, jackfruits, cashew nuts, bananas, chikus, figs and pomegranates, etc. Mango orchards are found in Konkan. Amount of rainfall in central Maharashtra is low. This type of climate is suitable to grow grapes, figs, pomegranates, orange, sweet lime that is mosambi, berry, etc. There are specialized districts for particular fruits like bananas of Jalgao, grapes of Nasik. Ratnagiri is famous for Alfonso mangoes. Thane is famous for chikus and Nagpur is famous for orange orchards. Cash crops These crops are cultivated only for commercial purpose. Produce from these crops is sold in the market and farmers get cash from these crops. Sugarcane, cotton, tobacco are cash crops. Fruits, vegetables, Flowers also help in increasing the income of the farmers. Maharashtra Main Crops Maximum land in Maharashtra is used for food grain crops followed by cash crops. Rice, Bajra, Jowar, Wheat are the main food grain crops. Sugarcane and cotton are the main cash crops. Food crops Jowar Jowar is one of the main food grain crops in Maharashtra. In sowing period, Jowar requires high temperature and moderate rainfall. Deep soils are best because these soils retain moisture from subsoil. In growing period, jowar is an important crop for the farmers because the food grains and fodder for animals is obtained from the crop. Solapur district is leading in the production of jowar in Maharashtra. It is followed by Ahmednagar, Bead, Jalgaon, Aurangabad, Pune and Nanded districts etc. Irrigated areas in Maharashtra are increasing which affects the areas of Jawar production. The land formerly used for Jawar is now being used for commercial crops. Wheat Wheat is cultivated only as a rabi crop in winter season. It is sown in the month of October to November and harvested in the month of February to March. In the sowing period, cool climate and moderate rainfall is required. Deep soils are good for this crop as it retains moisture. If the amount of rainfall is insufficient, irrigation is used. Dure and Jalgao districts from Tapi Basin are the main producers of wheat. In the Purna River Basin, Wheat is cultivated in Buldhana, Akola, Vashim and Amravati districts. Wheat is also cultivated 
in fertile plains of Bhima and Krishna Basin. Rice Rice is a main crop of Kharif season. Crop is cultivated particularly in high temperature and high rainfall zone. Loamy and sandy as well as laterite soils are the best for rice cultivation. In the areas where amount of rainfall is high, transplantation method is used for rice cultivation. Thane, Raigad, Ratnagiri, Sindhudurg, districts of Konkan are the main producers of rice. In these areas, rainwater is sufficient for the crop. In Chandrapur, Bhandara, Nagpur, Garchiroli, Gondia, tank water is used for the crop. On the eastern slopes of Sayadri ranges of Nasik, Pune, Satara, Kulapur and Sangli districts, rice is cultivated. Government of Maharashtra has started rice research institutes at Karzat, Khopoli and Ratnagiri. Bajra Bajra is mainly a kharif crop cultivated in low rainfall region. High temperature and light soils are required for the crop. It can be grown with the help of irrigation when crop requires water. In Maharashtra, area under this crop is decreasing. Dure, Jalgao, Ahmadnagar, Nasik, Pune and Satara are the main bajra producing districts of Maharashtra. Recently, area under summer crops, bajra crop, is increasing because it is showing good results. Cotton. This crop is cultivated in the regions of high temperature and moderate rainfall. Black cotton soil or Rigar soil is the most suitable for the crop. In growing period, moist weather is suitable. But in the harvest period, when the cotton balls burst open, high temperature and dry frost-free weather is required. Cotton crop requires organic manure and chemical fertilizers because this crop absorbs high amounts of nutrient matter from the soil and subsoil. Plucking of cotton requires large labor force. Yavatmar, Amravati, Akola, Vashim, Burdhana, Dhule, Jalgao, Nanded are prime cotton providing districts. Maharashtra produces mainly short staple cotton. Punjab Rao Agriculture University of Akola is conducting research on cotton. It has been successful in developing seeds for BT cotton and CAHS 468. Sugarcane It is a tropical crop. Climate of Maharashtra is suitable for the cultivation of sugarcane. This crop requires high temperature and high rainfall. In areas of low rainfall, crop is cultivated with the help of irrigation. Black soil or alluvial soil is the best for this crop. Sugarcane requires a large amount of water. That is why water holding deep soil is required. This crop absorbs nutrient matter from the soil so compost manure and chemical fertilizers are used. Use of chemical fertilizers is very high. Due to excessive usage of fertilizers, year after year yield is decreasing and soils are becoming infertile. In Maharashtra, 3% of the cultivated area is under sugarcane but these areas play an important role in the economic development of Maharashtra. Kolhapur, Ahmadnagar, Satara, Solapur 
and Pune are the major sugarcane producing districts of Maharashtra. From the environmental point of view, use of excessive irrigation and fertilizers leads to degradation of soil. It is thus necessary to find a solution to this problem. Fruits The climate of Maharashtra is suitable for the cultivation of fruits. Mango, oranges, sweet lime, banana, grapes, chikus, pomegranates, coconuts and areca nuts grow well in Maharashtra. Mango Mango requires rainy season for a few months as well as hot and dry weather. Mango orchards are found in Ratnagiri, Sindhudurg, Raigad and Thani districts. Ratnagiri's Devgad Alfonso variety of mango is famous. Though mango trees are found in all districts of Maharashtra, mangoes are commercially grown mainly in Konkan. Konkan Agricultural University, Dapoli, is conducting research on mangoes. Maharashtra leads in mango export of India. Grapes Grapes require a hot and dry climate and well-drained soil. Sufficient water supply, cutting of vineyards, pest control and intensive care is required. Nasik, Sangli, Satara, Pune, Latur, Kolhapur and Aurangabad districts are famous for commercial grape production. Generally, Grapes require less rainfall. With the introduction of irrigation supply in drought-prone regions, the area under grape cultivation is increasing. Maharashtra is leading in seedless grapes. Mahagrape organization is set up to secure the profits of farmers, which is also a boon to increase the export of grapes. Uruli Kanchan Grape Research Institute near Pune provides guidance to grape producers. Bananas This crop requires high temperature and humidity throughout the year. Water holding soil is suitable for bananas. Banana orchards cover 50,000 hectares of land in Maharashtra. Vasai, Jalgaon and Bhusavar are well known for banana production. In Dhule, Nandurbar, Pune, Satara, Sangli and Kolhapur districts area under this crop is increasing. Oranges It grows in high temperature and low rainfall regions. Deep and fertile soils are the best for oranges. The period from blossom to ripening is long. Mruk blossom that is June and Hasta blossom that is October are the two seasons of this fruit. Intensive care for this fruit is needed. Bad weather like fog and hail showers can cause major loss of this crop. Nagpur is famous for oranges. Amravati, Vardha, Akola, Yavatmar and Vashim are the orange producing districts. Government of Maharashtra has launched a special program to develop horticulture in drought prone zone. Government supplies saplings free of cost. Subsidiaries are sanctioned to the farmers to maintain trees. These plants help in protecting the environment and saving water besides providing us with fruits. That is why it is essential to expand this program in Maharashtra.